Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last part, we finished the Temple of Time. In this part, we're going to be getting one piece of heart, unlike what I said last part, that we're going to be getting many. And we are also going to be advancing the storyline and finding out what the hell happened to our Dominion Rod. Yeah, I realize that it's probably better just to get all the pieces of heart after the next dungeon. That way, I won't have to do a whole crap load of backtracking. But believe me, I'm going to be recording for like an hour and a half before I finish that. Hey, I hear a bug. Is it up there? Hell yeah, it is. Let's pick him up. Also, I'm using a different mic. I used it in a couple episodes of Paper Mario, and it didn't sound too horrible, so I guess I'll use it. Oh, I guess that's a new bug. Perfect. Let's head inside this ominous cave. As it contains something I am looking for. And that would be a piece of hearts. To spoil it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up this box. I also have to crush it. How many lives must be lost? Ah, I remember this cave. I know it had a piece of heart and it had to figure out what was inside. So... Alright, we don't really need our Gale Boomerang. Geronimo! My iron boots. Okay. I'm just gonna put the Dominion on, rod on for shits and giggles, I guess. Get out of here, Bubbles. This reminds me so much of the Fire Temple. I thought that somehow the Fire Temple, like... Not the Fire Temple, the Goron Nines. Like, extended all the way over here the first time we played this game. But no, it's just a random branch with lava and fencing and whatnot. That contains a piece of heart at the bottom. And also tons of keys. Alright, I got this. It's not show capture on him! Oh god, I thought I didn't press that. Sweet Jesus, yes. Alright, I believe that is the end of our iron boots. So let's just put on the lantern. No, I don't want the Hawkeye. The Hawkeye's useless. Alright, perfect. Take out our lantern and light these. And it should have a piece of heart. If it doesn't, I don't know what the hell I'm missing here. Uh, let's put our, our lantern. Please say it's a piece of heart. What? 100 rupees? Is this the piece? Oh, that must be the piece of heart. I guess it's optional 100 rupees. You know, I have to I like a hundred rupees. What is this? Hell yeah, piece of heart! Collect another two for a full heart container. I couldn't go collect those two before the next dungeon. Actually, I think we do get two near areas where we actually have to go. So that might be a good idea. Actually, wait, no, I think that one I just picked up was one of the ones near the areas we need to go. Well then, time to warp. And what better place to warp than to Kakirko Kurikurikurikur village? I still can't pronounce it worth the crap. I just realized my nunchuck is wrapped around my headset. It see if I can untangle it? Hell yeah. I am amazing at untangling things. Alright. Let's finish being a wolf here. I don't really like being a wolf. Suck. Uh, okay. Uh, first things first, let's go donate more money to their fund. I don't believe we have enough, but I guess it's just good to put it in there anyways. As I would really, really like to get some stuff. Alright. Uh, okay. Alright, hopefully we can get 163 rupees before we head off to the next dungeon, as that would make my life quite a bit easier, and that would let us get a piece of hearts, therefore giving us a round amount of piece of hearts before we head off to the next dungeon. But let's go to where we actually need to go. Inside Renato's hut. Building place thingy. I don't know what the hell it is. And why don't we just talk to her? Hey, Ilya. Um, Balls? Did you hear what the shaman said? Actually, I did not. What do you have to say? Ah, I have been waiting for you, Balls. Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help really, really... Wow. God, I can't go one part without messing up on reading, I swear. To help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Talma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he's researching the heavens, and he's come to the statue in our basement. He says he needs the rod of the heavens or something like that. The Goron Elder believes that to regain her lost memories, we must put together the fragment of her past. If we work our way back from the very place where she lost her memory, we may find something that will restore it. Now we must retrace Ilya's path. 
it is best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. You got Bernardo's letter! Take it to Telma. Alright. So let's go take this to Telma. As I said four times, let's goddamn take it to Telma. Alright, I guess we don't need our Dominion Rod. Oh, hey, we don't need that bottle of fairy either. Um, what should I put on my route? I'll put this there. Alright. Off to Telma's bar. I believe she's still in Castletown. I could be wrong. Oh, you know what? While we're in Castletown, I think I have a good idea. Alright, let's warp back to Castletown. No, nobody will see me here, Midna. God damn it. Let's warp. Thank you. Alright, Castletown. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, please don't say I'm going to get interrupted by the mailman. Yeah, I didn't get interrupted by the mailman. I'm fine with that. I think it's because he interrupted me last episode. I don't actually remember. That's been a long time since I recorded. I've been kind of sick, and I was on vacation. Uh, huh. You know, let's go to Agatha's first. I'd like to deposit most of my bugs to her and get some money. So when we have to go back to Kakiriko, we can give them some money and get a piece of heart in this episode. Another piece of heart. Despite what I said in the monologue. Wow. I'm a liar. I'm a dirty, dirty liar, aren't I? I feel so ashamed. Hey, creepy bug lady. I'm here to give you some bugs. Yes, I have. Can we just get this over with? Black at market bug trading. Black at market? I have no idea. Yes, yes, it's a butterfly. Great. Thank you. You're bribing me with money. Let's go. Okay, more more bugs. I have them. I'll give it to you. Yes, yes, here's my bug. You like my stick? I just took it out of my pocket. Can I can I have some money? Thanks. I'll use this to pay off the loan sharks. Please more more money for bugs. Here's a pill bug. You can have it. You can keep it, just give me some goddamn money. Alright, perfect, more 50 rupees. I wish you could select more than one bug at a time and just give it to her, because, god, this gets tedious. Alright, fine. Oh, wait, there's two more bugs we can give to her. Fine, I'll just give her all the bugs I possibly can. Thank you. Let's just deposit this last one. God damn. Shut up, Agatha, just give me money. Can't you hear me talking to you? Yes, yes, it's a boy, but snail. Alright, now that we're done with that, let's leave this place. God, I think there's only one more time I'll come back to here, and that's after we get all the bugs, and then I'll probably just speed through it. So you guys don't have to watch me continuously press the A button, because I bet it's as much fun for me as it is for you. Uh, okay. Is it a midget? I wish I could look. She walks like she's constipated. No, you're not going anywhere, old lady. Eh, <coughs> eh. <coughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we wanted to go to Telma's bar. Ah, oh, yes, I remember what we're doing. I remember, this part is very long. Between this temple and the next. I completely remember, it's really, really long, and I think I'm going to be waiting for a long time, because you got to wait until night. So, God, man, I swear. Hey, Telma. Can you tell me about the pita lady? How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do things or something. So, uh, yeah. Oh, you're kidding me! I have to go talk to Shad?! Fuck! Oh, wait. Oh, no, I forgot. I'm supposed to show her the letter, not just talk to her. Here, look at this letter. She can read it through the package. Wow! So self-centered, god. Please, please give me something. Lend me a hand. Okay, we got an invoice. Ah, oh, it's from when she went to the doctor to try to get her memory back. So, let's just go on a wild goose chase, shall we? To the doctor's office. I don't remember where that is. So, time to wander around blindly. Isn't that just the best part of this? No, don't! 
don't talk to the local people. Mm, you know what? Before we head off there, I think I want a shiny red apple. You got a sweet looking apple. It looks just ready to eat, too. Hmm, hold on. Looks like the shop over there has some, too. Hmm, maybe you should compare which one's sort of sweeter first. Yeah, so you can't actually eat the apples there, but you can look at them. Yeah, shut up! I just want to go talk to the doctor, you people. God, I'm not talking to you just because I look at you. God. The people in this world, I swear. The Zelda universe will be so weird compared to today's society. Let's see if I can try that sentence again. Compared to today's... Today... I screwed it up a second time! Like, you, you know what? Words are hard. Uh, but it'd be weird to compare Zelda's universe to uh, today's society. Because, you know, you can just walk into people's house, open their chests, throw their pots around. You just walk around blindly, people will mind. Hi there, old man. Eh, what's that? Just as I wondered who it might be. I see it's the young Admiral Lad who is willing to help the Zora for near a single... Near? No. Nay, a single rupee. Just what is it you want, Lad? A physical? No! I'm not gonna turn my head and cough for you. By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention it about me any... Did she? Oh god, I have a feeling that means that he did something to her. Here, look at this. Ah! Look, I can't pay off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy, strong dude. Yeah, I'm the IRS. He was gonna pay for it back with a wood carving, but it, he kinda dropped medicine on it, and he stunk, and then he left it out to dry. So, he's gonna get back to work. Alright, well, I guess this is where he left the statue, because there's a giant green funk around it. Ew, it's radiating smoke. What kind of medicine is this? Forget the reekfish scent and learn a new smell? Hell yeah! You'll learn the medicine smell! Now you can follow it to where the medicine is. To where the medicine is? To where the statue is. That I left out there. Because maybe we can sell that statue on eBay and make some money. I don't know. Or maybe we can use it to jog Ilya's memory. Both well, are fine. Nobody will see me here! God! What? Okay, I'll go into this back alleyway. No, no, somebody will see you in this back alleyway. There's nobody... Okay, fine, there's a little kid. Who cares? I'll... Fine, I'll leave and come back in, game. If that will make you happy, I'll do it... And... God. Okay. Thank you for letting me transform into a wolf. Now, I mean, just wait for this to reload. God. Don't you dare try to stab me. Uh, yeah, I hate it when that happens. Anyways. Everybody's scared of us now that we're a wolf. Yeah, you guys just run away like little pansies. I'm just gonna go do what I'm supposed to do here. And let's go back to Telma's bar. Oh yeah, we should probably fo follow the medicine spell so it doesn't look like I'm just wandering around aimlessly. That way the plot makes sense in the game. Because God knows I've skipped plot sense making about four times. What do you have to say, Scat? You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you, dear? Think it's a coincidence that I happened to get it from the stolen doctor's place? Yes, I'll admit it. I took it, but then I was attacked by some sort of dog beast. I don't know why those beasts took the statue. I thought it likely a dangerous spot. Those fiends lurk in the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. And another thing, they always move around the pack. You won't get that statue back until you kill all of them. So, we're gonna have to go to the southern field. <sighs> I should leave. Sorry, I just want to read that. God! Minda never lets me transform outside. So, huh. I got a minute and 30 left. That doesn't seem like enough time. I'm in the southern field. This seems like a good stopping place, but I think I can attempt to do something real quick. I'm going to have to wait out here until night anyway, so... I guess I can do that in between the recording and what we'll, so that, that that's the at least the bright side of this situation. Uh what item would I like there? Why not just put the Dominion rod? Why not? It's not like I'm ever gonna use it again anyways. Oh yeah, it's right. I am. Uh, is there something that I can claw shot? Uh, I guess not. I'm just gonna roll around and see if I can find anything. Uh ha ha. How much time do I have? 30 seconds. 
Alright, well then. Uh, seems like a good time to stop, especially because it's turning into night. So, I guess since I can't hit that, I'll end the episode and in the next part we'll get that statue back. See you guys then.